far away as the crow flies, Lords, with the second test match in full swing as Australia takes the field after lunch. At this stage, there was a chance of a definite result, though two days had been lost through rain. Fortunately for England, opening batsman John Edwidge is still there. The Yorkshireman Phil Sharp on the left goes to the wicket with him. Calling bowls to Sharp. Neutral this year, the West Indians, but interested all the same. Beavers tries to see if he can dislodge Edwidge. Hawk to Sharp. Booth gets to it first. England now 154 for five, and Sussex hero Jimmy Parks is at the wicket with Edwidge. Hawk to Edwidge. <laughs> Trying to get runs quickly, Parks puts the ball in the air. The Aussie skipper Bobby Simpson is there, and that's another man out. Calling is brought on again, bowling to Edwidge. Tipness has taken Park's place at the wicket. Simpson puts himself on as Edwidge nears his century. Simpson again. Edwidge will get a single here, taking him to 99. Hawk bowling now. It's a four all the way. Edwidge's first test century. Against Australia, too. At T, John Edwidge must be a very happy man. Afterwards, the Queen comes onto the field to greet the players, as is the custom of the monarch during test matches at Lord. The Australians first, with Bobby Simpson doing the honours. Ted Dexter receives Her Majesty on behalf of the England side. Royal congratulations to the hero of the day, John Edwidge. Altogether, a 27th birthday he'll never forget.